Hey everyone, it's Matt Maruka. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to biohack your iPhone. Basically, as you probably know, an iPhone is a very common phone that people have, and it emits a lot of artificial blue light frequencies, which are known to disrupt health. Essentially, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you some hidden tricks inside of the phone that you can use to actually eliminate blue light almost completely. So first of all, you'll notice that the phone is on a normal setting where you can see a ton of blue light. It's a bright white background and this is due to a backlight in the phone that is primarily blue based. If you looked at a spectral chart of this light, there would be a huge spike in blue and not so much light in the red or the green spike. So essentially the first thing you're going to do for daytime hacking is turn on something called night shift. Many people know this because it is generally on but um, it, it doesn't do enough. It doesn't actually block all of the harmful blue light. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna schedule your night shift so that it goes from 12 o'clock p.m. to 11.59 a.m. What this means is that it's ultimately going to be on all day long. So basically the way you get to night shift is by going into your settings, clicking on display and brightness, or gen first of all, display and brightness, night shift, and then you're gonna move it, see, less warm means more blue light and worse for your eyes and your health. More warm means less blue light. So again, 12 o'clock p.m. to 11.59 a.m. Should go on all day, but uh, it appears not to be going. Oh, there we go. So you see, it's gonna stay on now all day and it's only gonna turn off at the middle of the day at the peak um, of sun. Okay, so this is good enough for daytime because it's cutting out a part of the blue light, but it isn't good enough for night actually because it's not cutting out all the blue. What you would do is you would go into your general settings next to block all the blue. You're gonna go into accessibility. You're gonna go into display accommodations. You're going to color filters. You're gonna turn on color filters and normally it's gonna start like this and maybe be at grayscale, but you're gonna click on color tint. You're gonna increase the intensity to the max. So now you have maximum color tint setting and your screen is gonna appear very red. Now don't worry, we're gonna make it very easy to turn this on and off. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go back. You're also gonna turn on reduce white point, which basically allows you to extend your dimmer function. So you're gonna turn it all the way up. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom of accessibility. You're gonna go back out of display accommodations first, and then you're gonna click accessibility shortcut, and you're gonna turn on color filters and reduce white point. See, so now you can easily access your accessibility shortcut by triple clicking the home button. One, two, three, color filters, and reduce white point. So just, let's recap. What you're gonna use night shift for, we're gonna call it day shift now. You're gonna use it throughout the day, all day long, unless you really need to turn it off for some color sensitive material. And to turn it off on some phones, you're gonna basically go here. On newer updates with the iPhone, you're gonna scroll up or scroll down from the top on the iPhone 10. You're gonna hold on the brightness with a little pressure to activate it. And then all of a sudden night shift's gonna come up at the bottom and you're gonna tap on that. But it's very similar. Night shift is gonna come on here, and then you're gonna leave this on throughout the day. At night, as soon as the sun sets, like it is right now, it's great timing, you're gonna triple click your home button, you're gonna turn on color filters. Now, as brightness can also have an impact on melatonin levels, as the evening progresses and you're on your phone, you're gonna to wanna to triple click again and reduce, oh, and reduce the white point. Now you can do this from anywhere, of course, you don't have to be in settings. And this is gonna allow you to maximally extend your dimmer so essentially, your dimmer might go all the way down to there. Uh, as you can see, oh, it's being a little unresponsive. Uh, so it'll go all the way down, but basically reduced white point gives you an extension of that, which might seem excessive, but when you're in your room late at night, it'll actually be extremely helpful. So this is how you biohack the lighting of your iPhone. Now, one other addition we can add to this video, just so you know, is that airplane mode is a critical thing to use when you're not using your phone because especially in areas of low covers like where I am right now, 
the phone is going to blast much harder trying to find a tower. So you press on this little airplane and you leave that on pretty much throughout the day. Now, some people might need to be connected constantly to a tower, which is a, a tough thing for the health because of the shown health effects of radio frequency radiation. But in general, whenever you, if you need to have your phone on, it is far superior to keep it off your body in a backpack or a bag or something. But it's ideal to keep it on airplane mode unless you need it. Um, if there's some reason you feel you always need to have your phone connected to the tower, just make sure that you do the necessary things to minimize your exposure, like keeping it off of your body and using speakerphone or even a selfie stick, or uh, like what I'm basically using to record this video. It doubles up as a tripod, but a selfie stick to actually keep it away from you. That's actually what I do when I'm speaking on the phone. So essentially you've learned how to biohack your iPhone uh, across the board. Now, one other thing to keep in mind is that this will do a huge effect for your phone, but it's not actually gonna have quite as big of an effect for lights like headlights on a car. So this is why I recommend everyone obtain for themselves a pair of blue blockers, like raw optics blue blockers. These lights basically have the same effect for all the other artificial lights in the world, like the lights in your house, the lights on your TV, the headlights on your car, and so on. Basically allowing you to block the light frequencies that suppress your melatonin, protect your health, protect your sleep, and so on. And also, pretty soon, Raw Optics is going to be introducing a lens that we'll call the ultimate lens that allows you to protect your melatonin without significant color distortion. It is not the optimal choice compared to this lens, which is our 550 night lens, but it is still far superior to having no protection at all and is far superior to other blue light blockers on the market, such as Felix Grey and so on. It blocks twice as much of the harmful blue light spike as Felix Grey glasses. So thank you so much for watching. All the best. Take it easy. I wish you lots of health and lots of happiness. All the best.